What is going on my broskies? My name is Totsky back again here to bring you guys yet another One Piece Treasure Cruise video. In today's video, the Sugo Fest for the treasure map is now live and we are going to be doing some multi-pulls in today's video. Uh, in terms of how many, I'm not really too sure. I'm definitely doing at least two to get my hands on Gecko Moria, of course. Uh, however, you know, if we get the units b before the fifth multi, then, you know, definitely going to be stopping as early as possible. So, you know, obviously save our gems for future Sugo Fest. Uh, I already made a full video breaking down this whole Sugo Fest, talking about each of the characters as well in more like in-depth detail. If you guys want to see that, click the card at the top of the video so you guys can be notified about that one. But before we get into the actual pulls, I just want to go ahead and say that at news o'clock today at uh, 1900 PST, when we were logged into the game and you check the news board, treasure map Boa Hancock is now fully announced. We have the dates of the treasure map. You can see it's running from April 12th until April 16th. It gives you a run-through of the character as well as the full trusty character boosted list. Now, with this active, it means now I can build some teams for you guys. So, I'll be going ahead and making a video sometime within the next 24 hours or so uh, for this particular treasure map. So, look out for that one as, as well. Uh, this treasure map is actually really free to play friendly. And I think a lot of people will have a lot more easier time with this specific treasure map compared to the last couple of treasure maps. Uh, a lot of characters that are free to play that are boosted here just full on counter what the bosses do, which is really useful to have. So, uh, I think a lot of people are going to enjoy this specific treasure map. But as we said, the point of the video today was to go ahead and start doing some pulls on the treasure map Sugo Fest. Now, the first multi pull is a discount multi pull, 30 rainbow gems. And I know a lot of people have already done their pulls already. Let me know down below in the comment section how your pulls went. Uh, I've seen a lot of people get some pretty average stuff. So I'm not really looking forward to too much in this specific uh, Sugo Fest. But, you know, getting my hands on the trusty characters, Rayleigh, Perona, and Goku Moria are obviously the main targets here. Now, if I was going to get any other like Sugo Fest exclusive characters, obviously V2 Sanji's boost today and I don't have him uh, but pulling Jinbei would make you know beating the treasure map significantly easier so let's get into it first multi pull for the treasure map Sugo Fest against Boa Hancock let's do it let's do it two three four five six seven eight nine ten no Sugo Fest exclusives that we could see so far. We might get a secret red, which I, I actually haven't had a secret red in a while, and that would be really cool if we got one. Um, but, you know, the main target of these specific you know, Sugo, Sugo Fest for me are just the, the rare recruits, you know, to get my hands on the Rayleigh, the Perona, or the Gecko Moria are obviously the targets here, and getting my hands on some Limit Break characters would be good. Speaking of Limit Break, this guy just got his Limit Break on Global, and it, it kind of sucks. The most recent batch of Limit Break characters was kind of bad. There were just so many characters that are, like, even even with a limit break, it doesn't really enhance their usability all that much, which is quite unfortunate. And I feel like that's what a limit break should do. It should kind of like enhance their usability, whether it upgrade their captain effect or do something, you know. I feel like a lot of the limit breaks for the older characters should get buffed captain effects. A lot of them don't, which is really, really hurtful to see. Uh, but so far, man, we have not been getting good rare recruits. A lot of these characters, they either have rainbowed or they're just really bad limit breaks. So, you know, Elizabella was really good. Um, he, he actually has like one of the best limit breaks in the game. I've already rainbowed him though. Uh, we've got a uh, cyber recruit Jinbei. I don't know if his limit breaks any good. I'll have to look that one up. Uh, Ichiji, actually, I'll take that. You know, that's always going to be good. If you rainbow both sets of a five star and five plus, um, you know, Germa batch, that's obviously going to be useful. And uh, old school Jinbei. It would be nice to get legend Jinbei. Uh, anyway, uh, let's get to the 11th pull. Nothing special on the 11th. And we are going to get a time skip Nami. So that was an absolutely atrocious multi pull. Like, I don't think I've seen a worse multi pull than that in a long time. Uh, I did see a couple people did pull Rayleigh relatively early. So obviously, that would be freaking awesome. Because if you guys don't know, uh, Gecko Moria guaranteed on the second multi right here. And Perona is guaranteed on the fifth multi. So we're going to go up to five. That's the maximum that we're going to. Uh, if we pull Perona before the fifth multi, we're going to stop. There's no reason to keep going. But obviously, you know, Rayleigh would be awesome. He's not guaranteed and he is the two times point booster for this treasure map last treasure map when i did pause i didn't get uh, the two times point booster through my five multis so i'm hoping this time around maybe we could get a little bit more luck but let's see what we get second multi pull uh actually last treasure map as well i got some insane like legend pulls i pulled some amazing legends so uh, that would be cool if we could get that again that's always you know going to be extremely high so let's see what we get second multi pull down one two three four five six seven eight nine ten no reds once again. Not really what I expected, though. You know, I didn't really expect, you know, head into this and pull, like, freaking, like, five reds each multi. Not expecting to get reds, really. Um, you know, obviously, we get the guaranteed one on the third, uh, on the third multi pool. So, we'll see what we get there. Once again, though, 
getting really bad rare recruits, man. Like, where are all the good rare recruits at? Uh, also, Watatsume is boosted from the Jinbei badge, and I did not pull him from the Jinbei Sugo Fest, so I would gladly take that and... Oh my god, why? Oh, dude. Oh, that sucks. That really sucks, because, like, Gecko Moria, even though, like, he's, he's a good unit, but, like... These brand new treasure mode rare recruit units do not have a 4 and 5 star version, so if you pull dupes of them, there's literally no use for them whatsoever. And like, they all come with max sockets anyway, so even if you did pull a dupe, you can't even use it for a socket, but... Either way, uh, Gecko Moria. So let's discuss him really quick. He's a driven powerhouse unit, and he has a special ability of a 10 turn max cooldown, reduces the decreased chain multiply growth rate and despair by three turns, and deals 50 times his attack in typeless damage to all enemies for the next three turns. Honestly, he's a, he's a pretty useful unit that obviously will see play in future pieces of content. You know, three turns despair removal is always going to be useful to have. You don't really see too many situations where you're going to have to reduce the chain multiply growth rate. Typically, you'll just bring a chain locker in those circumstances uh but the fact that he does end of turn damage is actually kind of cool and you know you could use some really niche sort of situations where you could use him but anyway we pull gecko moria would be awesome to pull perona or rayleigh let's see them that's all we need to get now another diamante use that for limit break let's see what we get eight niji okay not expecting to pull these guys but i'll gladly take them you know those guys are kind of rare especially niji on global it feels like niji is like the rarest one to get so you know pulling a, a, a niji is always useful uh, and then we get a uh, Lafitte. And this is the guaranteed Gecko Moria, which we literally just pulled. God damn. God damn. That this is literally what happened last treasure map. I pulled two Higumas and I pulled two Ace. I, I have a feeling that's exactly what's going to happen this time around. Okay, so we're moving on to the third multi now. As we said, guaranteed Sugo Fest exclusive. Now, we've got Big Mom and we have Sanji boosted here. If we pull V2 Sanji, dude, I'd be so happy. Um, you know, I've actually kind of wanted him for a while. He's a good legend and I've never really had a chance to really play with him. So, I would love to pull him. Not expecting to get him in, in as my last legend though. That would be, that'd be kind of cool. But, let's see what we get. Third multi-pull down. We're gonna go one, two, three, four, five, six... 7, 8, 9, 10. Double Sugo Fest exclusive multi. That's pretty cool. All right, let's see what it has in store for us today. Come on, let's see Perona and let's see Rayleigh. Two. That is not Perona or Rayleigh. Uh, although, uh, I'll, I'll take a copy to Rainbow her, of course. Uh, Rainbow in times. Tansi Nani is one of the most useful rare recruits. Speaking of useful rare recruits, this guy. Max limit break this guy, and whenever you get duped with him, make sure to feed it. He has the double special ability where, um, you know, you can use his special twice in a row. He's got a useful special where he can reduce, I think it's bind and despair by seven turns. So with a double special, you can remove 14 turns of bind and despair. Doesn't happen often, but, you know, if you do need that, it is there. And he also has a chance to, like, KO the whole enemy team, like a, like a Shiryu type of special. So, you know, you can get double the, double the chance of that, which is pretty cool. Like, he's a pretty useful unit to have. Uh, 20th anniversary Sanji. Not too bad, actually. Uh, okay, three day to your chopper. Not looking too good. Oh, he's one of the reds. I didn't even realize it was coming up now. Hody Jones. Okay. Well, it's a dupe. I'll use that for limit break once again. Um, my, my Hody Jones getting there. I think he's like halfway done in terms of his uh, limit break now. So, you know, that'd be cool. Although, with like Treasure Map NL now, there aren't too many situations where I actually opt to use Hody Jones in a lot of content now, which is which is kind of bad. But, you know, Hody Jones is always going to be a nice legend to have. He, he's never like not terrible. Like, he's just nice to have. Kobe, I believe I've rainbowed him now. Number eight, Jola. Not looking good, man. The, these Sugo pools have been honestly pretty goddamn bad. And that's... Ugh, man. I mean, Koala's decent, I guess. Anyways, guys, we've got another Sugo Fest exclusive coming up right now. Come on, let's see it. Are we gonna get new legend? I'm not expecting new legend. I don't really think at this kind at this point in time I kind of like deserve a new legend. I pulled a lot of good stuff over the last like month or two, so let's see what we get. Let's see what this uh 11th post is gonna be. Not extended, and it's gonna be version one legend. <laughs> okay, yeah, okay, okay, okay. I'm not even gonna feed that like to Rainbow the character. Like the character's just terrible. I don't think there's really a point in doing that. All right, so once again, guys, we got another uh, another multi coming up here. Another 30 gem multi, so you know, saving 20 gems along the way, which is always good. Uh, but there's nothing guaranteed with this step. But the step after this is guaranteed Perona. I'm hoping we can pull Perona in this multi, so we don't have to go to the fifth multi. Let's see what we get here. One. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. <sighs> okay, fair enough. No reds. Jesus Burgess, bro. <sighs> this is terrible. This is absolutely terrible. Zio? Oh my god. Number three. Hyozo. Dude, we're pulling like the whole fishman batch right now. 
Number four. Marco, okay. Strength Marco is good. I think mine's like Rainbow now anyway. Pulled him a lot of times, but, you know, obviously one of the better rare recruits in the game. Number five. Another Niji, bro. Holy crap. Number six. Killer, bro. These, these rare recruits are kind of old. Kind of old. Number seven. Bastille. <sighs> Khalifa. Love the artwork, of course, but, I mean, it's Khalifa. Number nine. King Riku, bro, that is a rare recruit I have not seen in a very, very long time. That's that's wild, yo. That is, uh, we pulled two Hyozos in the multi. Oh. And the 11th is a Abdul and Jeet. Okay, fair enough. <laughs> bro, these pulls are bad. Like, these, this is this is a bad Sugo fest, man. This is a bad Sugo. Man, that's... I'm really heartbroken, man. I thought we would have got some some decent, you know, rare recruits in, in along the way there, but we really haven't. Now, these pulls have been pretty bad, honestly. And, and even our legends that we got were really bad. What were our legends? We got, like, version 1 Lucci and Hody Jones. Not that great. Not that great. But as we said, guys, the last multi-pull, guaranteed Perona on the fifth multi. Uh, maybe this can be the redemption here. Maybe we can get something really cool along the way. You know, honestly, I have a feeling right now we're going to pull Perona in the middle of the multi, as well as the last unit of, of this specific multi. That's exactly what happened last Treasure Map Sugar Fest. I'm not expecting it to go any different. Let's see, though. Let's see if I was right. Last multi of the video. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Red Raid's looking pretty bad, though. Red Raid's looking very, very bad. Another Diamante using that for limit break. Come on, let's see if I was right. We're going to pull another Perona in the middle of the multi. Oh, yes! Okay, finally we get a good unit. Uh, Wadatsume, who I didn't have previously. So the only unit I'm missing from the Jinbei batch is Praline. Uh, and she's not boosted. I think she's boosted part 3. So I don't think too many people are going to be pulling part 3. Wadatsume is an interesting unit. Changes the orbs in the left column. All to matching, including block, as well as boosting the chain multiply by 0.7 for 2 turns. Not a terrible unit, but there aren't too many situations where you would opt to use a character like this. But either way, it's a new character. I'm glad I have him now. Let's move on. Number 3. 20th anniversary Frankie, come on, let's see, Rayleigh and Perona, well, we're getting Perona at the end, so at this point, just Rayleigh, come on, let's see Rayleigh, okay, Viola, Rayleigh, 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 come on, only five units left, five units, come on, Rayleigh, where are you bro, Dice, okay, I'll take that, Dice is a good unit, I I'm a big fan of this rare recruit, come on, Rayleigh, okay, Shirohoshi, that's fine, she's a good unit, Rayleigh, Barkra, oh, she's another great unit. Okay, so I'm pulling some better rare recruits. Like, like these are rare recruits that I haven't max limit broken, or well, I've max limit broken them, but I haven't like rainbowed them yet. So getting these type of rare recruits are pretty good. Number nine. Okay, three day two Yanami. Last chance to pull Rayleigh. And another dice. Okay, fair enough. And then our last unit here, as we said, is going to be the guaranteed rare recruit Perona with the absolutely astounding, amazing artwork. Uh, so this character is also pretty cool. She has the ability to reduce the right side column character's special charge time by one turn. She reduces damage nullification for a turn, and she heals the crew by 15 times her recovery. So I'll probably opt to give her some recovery candy so she heals a bit more. Uh, but overall, not a very good set of pulls, honestly. To be quite frank, they weren't very good. Hopefully, your pulls were a lot better than mine because, yeah, these were not good at all. Uh, we pulled two Gecko Morias and one Perona. But that's going to end the video, guys. Uh, hopefully, you guys enjoyed it. And as I said, I really hope you guys got better pulls than what I did. If you guys did enjoy the video, make sure to leave a like. And if you want to stay up to date with all the content I post, including more One Piece Treasure Cruise content, make sure to hit the subscribe button down below. But other than that, guys, I will see you guys within the next video.